up guys? Welcome to this week's Real Deals Podcast. Did you really think I was going to do that with a mask on? I was just messing with you. Hey, what do you guys think? Check it out. Look at this lot, huh? Does it look familiar? Look at the size of these trees. See that? Good God. Look at that one. Huge. So, this weekend, we were cutting trees as you can see. We were clearing the lot. This is kind of my favorite part of the process and that's why I wanted to bring you guys out here and kind of show you. We can overlay some old footage so you guys can see how wooded this lot was. There wasn't a ton of trees on it, but the trees that were on it were huge. And so it made it feel real dark in comparison to what it is now. Now that we cut these things, it opened it up and you can see the entire lake. It's just absolutely amazing. So this lot is going to be probably, or this project is going to be probably our coolest project we've ever done, uh, just by virtue of the fact that we've got this to look at. But on the tree side, uh, we've got some footage here. I actually will put the one in right now where the tree fell uh, that I got this weekend. But we fell these two trees. We cut down some more. We had the cops called twice, so they showed up two times. People called them and said we didn't have permits to cut, cut the trees, which is absolutely ridiculous. But hey, that's what you get when you cut trees in Lake Oswego. But more important than that, now that the trees are cut, we're going to do some site prep. And then right here below us uh, approximately, you can kind of see over here, uh, we're going to be putting the piers in the ground. And so these piers are going to basically uh, hold the hillside in place. So even though they're not really needed, uh, it was kind of an extra precaution that's being taken based on the grade and the fact that this area is mapped as a historic slide zone. Um, so the city's making us put piers in. So we'll come back and we'll get shots of the big equipment that's doing all that. It's going to be kind of crazy. They're going to drill down 30 or 40 feet uh, and then they're going to fill the holes with steel casing and then fill those steel casings with concrete. So it's going to be kind of a big ordeal, but that's going to act as kind of an underground retaining wall to make sure that this site can never move. Not that it would move anyway, but it's just kind of an extra insurance policy that the city's requiring. So anyway, this is the project. Check out the view. We're going to have an awesome house here. Master's going to look off the back. We're going to have maybe a pool down here that looks over the lake. It's going to be phenomenal. So we're off to the races. Hope you guys like what you see.